Hey everyone, it's Mal. I just recorded a 20, no, we done 20. It was probably like a 10 minute video. Um, and I hadn't hit record. So I'm doing this again for the second time. It'll probably be more concise now because I had a dry run. Go me. So ever since like Christmas or so, maybe a little bit later, I've had actually a lot of trouble hitting flow state and getting good word counts going while I'm, while I'm streaming and sprinting together. Um, and like three years ago, give or take a bit, um, sprinting was the thing that solved my productivity. It was sprinting with Jill, and then it was sprinting with other people online when Jill wasn't writing, joining sprint groups. And then eventually I found that I really liked streaming. I like I like being on camera. I'm like, you know, my jam. Um, and that helped satisfy my needs for, you know, extroverting during pandemic. And and honestly, like doing doing these these live streams with all of you is kind of been a lifesaver for me in a lot of ways. But ever since like Christmas or so, I've really been having trouble hitting flow state. And on the days where I don't stream, I write so much more in less time. Um, I'm doing like four to five K in a matter of like three or four hours in some cases, um, which is amazing and kind of what I used to be able to do. So I think it's kind of be time for me to stop doing the streaming. Um, added to that is the fact that I'm in the basement and it's glorious outside and I want to be in our sunroom, but our internet's not good enough out there for me to stream from there. I'd actually have to run like a ethernet cable all the way through our house somehow. It'd probably like outside into the attic. It would be a pain to do that. Um, so, and then on top of that also Eva, um, I'm going to be the stay at home mom most of the time during the summer for Eva. And I, I need to be more available for her and I need to be upstairs while she's around more often. Um, and she actually had asked that I don't stream as much um, in the summertime because she doesn't sort of want to feel like she's abandoned and alone. And honestly, I can't have her doing that because she'll just be on her iPad the entire time, um, which is not good for her. Uh, so there's some concerns there as well. So and on top of that, I have to write like 100,000 words this month. Or more. Honestly, I need to write like 120,000 words this month. So I've got some serious writing I have to do. And like I said, on the days where I'm not streaming, I'm much more productive. So I feel terrible about this. So I feel like I'm letting you all down. I know so many of you say that you love writing with, with me and being online. And, and that's like the only way you know how to do it now. Um, I feel really bad about that. But at the same time, like, you know, I've got to, I've got to do what works for me. So um, I don't want to lose our community, though. I feel like we've built a great community. Um, I think I think there's like a solid 40 or 50 people that are around regularly or fairly regularly, like at least once or twice a week. Uh, we there are that many people that roll in and roll out throughout the day. Some of you don't see each other because some of you come in early and then leave mid afternoon, and some people don't show up until you know a lot of times uh, the last couple of sprints of the day. So, but there's there's actually a, a good number of us, and I don't want to lose that community. So what I wanted to is I'm going to start a Discord server. I'm not going to start it today because I want to give myself a little bit of a breather in time to um, get some solid words in and get a new pattern and routine running for myself before I introduce a new social media thing I, I, that I have to nurture and care for. Um, I'll create a Discord server for those of you. So I know some people aren't familiar with Discord. It's a little bit scary. I think actually the biggest thing to get over with Discord is the fact that on the left-hand side of the screen, um, your um, direct messages and the servers you in look you're in look the same like they have the same kind of icons in the same kind of place once you sort of get used to the fact that dms and servers are in different spots um it can actually help make it all make a lot more sense but um but hopefully you guys will join me there i'll i'll get some information out about that so maybe i'll do a video later in the week when i have that ready um you can also reach out to me on instagram anytime it's up this is reversed and it's hard it's up there Boop, boop, boop. You can also look for me on um, Facebook. I'm sure most of you are already Facebook friends with me, so message me there. Um, but I want to stay in touch. And what I'm going to do... Um, oh, by the way, the Discord server is going to be branded The Writing Wise, which is Jill and my writing empire. We've been talking about doing a Discord server for, about that for a while, but being doing these streams and doing another Discord server, um, starting the Women of Science Fiction thing, which I kind of had to back burner a little bit, but I'm still pushing on. Uh, it's, it just would be too much, so I, I didn't do that Discord server, but now I, I can. So yay, a Writing Wives Discord server where we'll all be welcome. Because um, it's not just for wives, it's for it's the Writing Wives that run it. You know, because we're wives, Jill and I. I'm sure you all get that. Um, but I'm also thinking that what I want to do is maybe like lunch with Mal on Thursday. So like 11.45 Eastern or so, I'll spin up and I'll run a... Um, uh, 
uh, you know, an hour, hour and a half stream where I just talk to people about things and we chat and we shoot the shit and discuss what we have going on and everything like that. Maybe I'll read some of this crazy um, prose that I've been going through lately about the the, the Second Punic War. Um, and then perhaps if people are keen on it, we could do it as a Zoom too, where everybody could be around and chatting, you know, and it's not just me chatting. Maybe we could do both. We can kind of play it by ear. Um, maybe I'll be doing this again come fall. Maybe not. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but, uh, you know, one of the things I've learned in this gig is that the things that you're doing now to be productive are not going to work at some point in the future. They're going to stop working and you have to find new things that make you productive and you have to not like fight it. You know, you don't have to not, not be like, well, it worked before I can make it work again and bang your head against the wall. You have to like at certain points, like I've got to find new ways to be productive. Sometimes it's going back. Sometimes it's going forward. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But, um, I'm trying not to cry because I'm going to, I'm going to miss being with you guys every day. But, um, you know, you guys, this, 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 this community we made in this, this time we spent together was like crucial in me. And I feel like a couple of you, maybe all of you in getting through pandemic sane. So, um, that alone, um, will make this sort of thing always be really special. And, uh, I want to keep it alive in some fashion or another. So. Hopefully we can figure something out where we're still in touch and we're still, we still have to spend time together and stuff like that. Um, but um, I love you all and I will see you this Thursday because that's when we're going to start the first lunch with Mal. And maybe what we'll do too is for folks who are in the West Coast, we'll maybe every now and then I'll do an afternoon tea with Mal or something like that so we can, we can all get together that way. So hopefully that um, will work for you all and we'll still get to be together. So um, I love you all. Thank you for spending so much time with me over the last almost year. I started doing this in July of last year. Might even have been June of last year that I started it up. It wasn't quite as regular back then, but uh, it's been a while. It's been a haul and um, it's been a good one. So on to new ways to keep myself motivated and get writing and get books done but i don't want to lose my community like i said so we'll figure stuff out so this is mal saying goodbye for now basically goodbye for two days because two days right around this time i'm going to be starting my first lunch with mal stream um i look forward to seeing all of you there and have yourselves a great day i wish you great word counts and um oh and there's a there's another youtuber whose info section on his channel lists everybody else who's streaming and their schedules. So if someone who happens to remember who that is, put it in the comments so that folks can, can get that and be, I'll bump it up and I'll put it at the top and I'll also make a video soon, or maybe I'll do, I'll do an announcement in a variety of formats. One of them being a video talking about the discord server and stuff like that as well. So we'll, I'll keep everybody informed on what I'm going to do there. Um, but don't be strangers. Um, I'll hope to hear from you guys and I love you. Bye.